Good day, I'm Wayne from Lanco. Today we're looking at a two-hoist two automatic chemical equipment phosphate barrel line. The overall dimensions of this line are approximately 120 feet long by 20 feet wide. Uh, look on your print for the overall height dimension. Um, there's 12 barrels, uh, 22 inches by 36 inches uh, long. It's got the self-supported superstructure, uh, two new hoists, and new controls in 2007, 12 loads per hour. And we'll go around the line and just look at a few uh, of the details of this line. Uh, there are gear driven motor drives on each tank, Allen Bradley controls, uh, two stations or two sets of phosphate, heavy phos four station and light phos two station. There's the loading stations. Uh, we'll walk over by the dump hoppers here. I just wanted to give you a shot of the barrels. 22 inch diameter by 36 long and 3 16 perf and there are a few 3 30 seconds perf. Self-supporting superstructure. Uh, reinstalled the new hoist in 2007. There's the dump hopper load stations. Also it's got a chemical equipment. 30 inch spin dryer, gas fired. There's a burner unit here. There's a loading station and unloading station. So here's the load station here and unloading to a dryer here, spin dryer, or unloading directly to the tub right here. There you can see the back side of the load and spin dryer. Full sets of prints are available for these lines. There's the load shuttle. Tank one, light oil. Tank two, heavy oil. Hot rinse. Three stations of cleaner. Rinse, rinse, acid pickle. The spare tank. Everything's in great shape on this line. Unitized construction on the tanks. They're up on a self-supporting I-beam structure. Post pickle rinse, station 10. Post pickle rinse, the stainless steel uh, sealer. Rinse, rinse, stainless, stainless, and polypropylene for the fuss rinse. Here we go into the four station phosphate tank, heavy phos, and it is um, jacketed and heated. Temperature is between 155 and 175 degrees, steam heated. I think the barrels agitate. Uh, rotate in both directions. Here's some of the self-supporting superstructure. It is welded but uh, can be cut and reassembled. Two stations of blast, black phos, or one station of black phos, one black phos rinse, and then here is the two stations of light phos, a jacketed stainless steel tank. Also, there's uh, enough overhead superstructure here for approximately uh, eight to ten more stations, if so desired, on the superstructure in this area here. Now we'll walk around and look at the control panel. Uh, the catwalk here is nice, four-foot catwalk.
There's the operator station for the panel view 550 right there. And I'll show you the master control panel. Here's the hydraulic unit for the shuttle system and the 30 inch spender arc. Here's the control panels for the line. Give you a shot inside. Allen Bradley variable speed drives for the lift motor and the transfer motors. The Allen Bradley controller here and more of the variable speed drives here. Then some temperature controls right here. The rest of the panel. Very late model. Here's a shot of the gear drives. This machine's a 440 volt. Unitized construction here on the superstructure. It's off the floor. On I beam so you can cut it in sections and take it out, unitize. The electric is flange. And the gearboxes are plugged as you can see here. A couple of auxiliary tanks here for the cleaners. Hot water rinses, take the oil off. Here's the operator station, a little close up. If you need further information about this 25 station automatic FOSS barrel line, contact Lanco, Tony Croft, Wayne Ganyan, or Luke Mealy, 616-887-8300. Our fax is 616-887-8335, or you can reach us on the web at www.lanco-corp.com. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.